Good morning, designers. Please gather around. Welcome to Space Off. How you guys doing? Great. Congratulations on making it to the second round. As you know, you'll both be designing the same space for the same client, but this time your client is real. You'll start with a one hour planning session during which you'll be able to Skype with your client. Next, you're gonna have four hours to shop Furniture Land South for furniture and accessories. And then tomorrow will be delivery to your client's home. Guys, I'll be with the client in their home tomorrow, revealing each design to them. But as you know, the client can only select one room. The winner of this challenge will win another thousand dollars and will advance into the semifinals for a chance to become this season's Space Off champion. Are you ready to learn a little bit about your client and the challenge? Your client is Kate Bryan from the Small Things blog. She's best known for having over a hundred video hair tutorials, but she also blogs about beauty, fashion, and motherhood. She's been featured on realsimple.com and birchbox.com. She also works with some big brands like Home Goods, Refinery29, and Four Moms. Kate's a busy mother and wife, and she's expecting her second child, so she needs lots of rest. You'll be designing a master bedroom for her. How does that sound? All right, so Kate is expecting your call. She's on standby. And Jason and I will be checking back in with you to see the progress. Good luck. Yeah, Thanks. good luck. Hi. Hi, Kate. Hello, Kate. I'm Missy. And I'm Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you as well. So tell us about your room. The master bedroom is, it's, it's, a, it's the biggest room of our bedrooms, but probably the least used, just because we kind of just use it for sleeping and getting ready for the day. So I wouldn't be opposed to kind of utilizing the space, sort of a little retreat area that I can go to that's not my office or not my living room. I'm David, this is Catherine. How do you do? Hey, how are you guys? Good. Good. Could I ask you a couple of questions about storage? Yeah. Um, is that a walk-in closet that you have? It is. How much storage do you need outside of the closet, do you think? We're pretty much maxing out all of our drawers and our furniture right now, and we have a great deal of them. Um, I'm sure you saw the pictures then, so you saw the sides of our furniture. Yeah, I've got yes. some snapshots in front of me. Everything so. is full, including the bench at my end of the bed, so okay. storage is a big thing. Do you like to have things all consistent, like everything to be the same, or do you like more of an eclectic look? Um, I'm, I'm a black and white type of person, so there's a fine line there of like a nice mix and match of pieces versus like nothing goes and it's chaos. You know okay. what I mean? Looking at your style, from what I can see, it looks kind of transitional, clean, simple lines, yeah. not too ultra modern, not too traditional. It's clean right. lines and sort of simple, no fuss furniture. Okay. Um, nothing's overly huge and massive, so yeah, but you hit the nail on the head the way you described it. Well, Thank you so much, Kate. Very nice meeting you. Thank you, guys. You were so excited. Look forward to meeting you in person. All right, you as well. Thank Bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, Lee, that is absolutely perfect. I can just see this being timeless. I think she, you, you can grow with this. She's called me everybody's name but my own. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I'm sure it's not a problem.
There's no way to try it. Wait, guys, wait, wait, please. One more time. Can you just try one more time, please? We're so close. Okay, guys. Yeah. Yeah. We got it. Determination. Jason. I'm Kate. And I brought one of your fans along here, my daughter Sarah Parker. Nice to meet you. Me too. Are you ready to check out your new bedroom? Yes, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my gosh. It looks so different. Unbelievable. I'm shocked. Pretty cool, huh? Yes. It is like it's unbelievable how different it feels. What's it looks your, great. What speaks to you like right out of the gate? This. I love this. What's nice is I can see all my accessories. Before they used to be tucked away in a cabinet. So in terms of getting ready for the day, this part will just be even faster since I can see all my options and easily grab them off. And I love that it's the jewelry that I wear, but it's also doubling as decoration. Well, we also have obviously a mix of different finishes in here. We have the dark finish and have a lighter finish and it seems like there's lots of storage too. There's so much storage, which is something we really needed. So I love to see all the drawers we have. What about the abstract artwork? I think that's a nice touch. I love how soft it is and then it picks up the gray of the walls without being too muted. Like it doesn't get lost in here, but it isn't too loud of a piece. In a lot of my artwork, I tend to go for something that's soft and abstract. So it, it fits in perfectly with my style and what I would naturally go for. Yeah, what about these brass kind of accents, the gold I, accents? I love those. Gold, I, you can't go wrong with gold these days. So those are beautiful. Cool, let's check the bed out. All right. I love it. I love how tall the headboard is. Our headboard before was really short and felt sort of dwarfed in the room. Um, and I like the shiny finish to it and the linens are beautiful. I would have picked these out anywhere because I love how simple they are, but they have a little bit of character and I like the texture. Um, and the, the yellow pillow is really cool and I like how it works with the green as well. We're, they don't match, but they all sort of go within the same family. You think the kitty cats will find some good little spots they'll like oh, in here? Oh yes, oh yes. Grits and gravy will be hiding in the pillows. There will be cat hair everywhere. <laughs> so this is the most beautiful little look. So Parker, what do you think? I think it looks really comfortable and soft and I love the yellow pillow. Me too. Well, Kate, let's check out the chair over here. Okay. It's like you might have a new place to shoot some videos and do some blogging over here. Yeah, I could definitely see myself working here, doing a little typing on my laptop, checking email, something quick, and I could get a little bit of work done. So do you have a pretty good feel for room number one? Yeah, and I love it. It's, it's nothing like I thought it would look like, but I really love it. Sure. Well, our team's going to come up and take everything out of here. Design team number two is going to come up and give you a completely different option. Yeah, I cannot wait to see it. Awesome. All right.
Okay, design team number two has just finished their installation. Are you ready? I absolutely cannot wait to see it. All right, Sarah Parker, lead us in. Oh my gosh, this is so different. I didn't anticipate this at all today, but it's beautiful. What's the first thing that strikes you when you walk into the room? I love the blue color. Um, and I thought I would be sick of blue because there's so much blue in the rest of my house, but the gray sort of balances it out nicely and it, it's really beautiful. I love this. I love it too. I love how tall it is. I've never had a piece of furniture this tall, but I love that it's a statement and it just has storage for days. And I love the little numbers on them. I'm just seeing those. That's really cool. This middle drawer looks interesting. Wow. Oh, that's cool. What do you think of this kind of honey brown finish that we have here? I like it and it warms up the room nicely. Everything else is cool. I like cooler colors, um, but this is, this is beautiful and I think fits in really well. Awesome. Well, let's go check out this side of the room. Okay. This lamp reminds me of um, the coral at the beach. It does look like that. I love the texture to it. And this reminds me of like an old airplane, the metal that they make airplanes out of. And my husband was in the Air Force for a couple of years, so he'll probably appreciate those details. I love the rustic bed frame too. This is very different than the other design, but it's still warm. It, it's not too harsh, I feel, so. How about the linens? The linens are beautiful. I love these colors. They're really soft and you can kind of accentuate with any other accent color, but blue is one of my favorites, so I wouldn't have chosen anything differently. I love this blue bench at the end of the bed. I like that it's tufted, and I think the legs add a little bit of interest to it as well. And the pillow they added to this chair makes it look entirely new. I had this in my original master bedroom, so it's cool just to see some fresh eyes add a little bit of accessories to it. This lamp is awesome. I think my husband's really gonna like that. Now I want to check out that corner. This is such a cool piece. We haven't had a secretary ever, so it's neat to kind of work it into a bedroom. And it's so small, it doesn't take up a lot of space. Exactly, yeah, it'll look nice all closed up and put together, but I also like it opened. And I could sit here and do a little bit of work if I need to, or my husband can stash some of his old stuff from school in here as well. This is gonna be a tough decision for you. You got two amazing rooms to choose from. I don't know how I'm gonna choose. This is gonna be really hard. Well, you get to sleep on it tonight, and tomorrow morning we're gonna meet at Furniture Land South with both design teams, and you get to decide who the winner is. All right. Good luck. Thanks. <laughs>